Road. Where else do you get a station which spans the River Thames? Not like this. This is London Blackfriars, the most beautiful station in London. Riverboat services from Blackfriars Pier, the South Bank and the Tate Modern. The doors will open automatically at the next station. Uh, we are at London Blackfriars station um, and this station is um, one of the main stations on the Thameslink core and um, you've got a magnificent view of the River Thames and this station spans exactly over the Thames sir. and you've got views of the Shard, the City of London and the Tower Bridge as well. This is an awesome site. Here we got a Luton cells on part of the two. We got a Grace and Cells version of the part of the one.
ocean and it spans across the river and there are also some of these um, old abutments which are these old buildings here. That was the old Black Lives Ground Bridge that got demolished in 1985. There is a new southern entrance on the south side of the river.
first class accommodation is at the front of the train. So this is on Thameslink here. There's a river boat. So this is by Thameslink, which stop at the station. And you also got uh, London Underground Services. You got this train here on the other platform. I'm just leaving now. In my opinion, I think Blackfriars is um, one of my favourite stations in London. 
And you notice you got um, a t two terminating platforms here, and uh, they sometimes even serve southeastern trains, so, um, which has uh, which uh, come from uh, uh, I think Lewisham. Platform one for the 1603 Thameslink service to Porsche. This train is formed of 12 coaches calling at London Bridge, Norwood Junction, East Croydon, Hurley, Causton South. Merston, Red Hill, Earlswood, Silverts, Hawley, Gatwick Airport, Three Bridges, Crawley, Ifield, Little Haven, and Portion. Due to short platforms, passengers for Norwood Junction and Earlswood should board the front 10 coaches. Passengers for Silver and Little Haven should board the front 8 coaches. Passengers for Ifield should board the front start heading to I can't see it's just a check station Train over there, which is 700-003, that's heading for uh, Finsbury Park, apparently. Platform 1 for the 1606 Thameslink service to Sutton via Mitcham Junction. This train is formed of eight coaches calling at Elephant and Castle, Loughborough Junction, Hearn Hill, Tulls Hill, Streatham, Mitcham Eastfields, Mitcham Junction, Hackbridge, Carshalton, and Sutton. Due to a short platform, passengers for Mitcham Junction should board the front seven coaches. First class accommodation is not available on the train. It um, there is first class, but it's um, declassified. So um, if you want a video on uh, declassified first class, um, I suggest you check out uh, Lon um, a video that Londoners did on um, first class for free in London, um, which is um, which is the video's host is Jeff Marshall, and um, it's um, a wonderful video. Um, so I suggest you. So it's already supplied by the closed doors. By the close so um, I suggest um, to watch um, a video made by Londonist on first class for free in London, and the video starts Steph Marshall, and um, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And anyway, the uh, Sutton by Mitcham train is leaving. coming the other way. These are the only trains on the Tenting Network, the Class 700. This one's heading for Finsbury Park too. Gatwick Airport, 
Three bridges, Haywards Heath, Burgess Hill and Brighton. First class accommodation is at the front of the train. Yeah, and that means the back first class is declassified. Yeah, this first class here is... Um, it's a bright is service, work out again. So Thameslink's northern destinations from Blackfriars are Bedford on the Midland Main Line, Peterborough on the East Coast Main Line, and Cambridge on its own thing. Or really, with, with Greater Anglia and Cross Country Services at Cambridge. And to the south they go as far as Brighton. Um, and I think the Little Hampton service is not there anymore. It's, it's all gone wrong for that service. So I guess you need to take Southern, and not to mention the fact that Southern take a really indirect route to reach Little Hampton via Hove, when Horsham is actually the more direct route. And these platforms here are the Bay platforms, and they serve Seven Oaks trains that start at Blackfriars. So, um, something very weird about Blackfriars mainline station is that the gate line is located at platform level and not in the circulation area um, below, which is quite odd. But the gate line is in the circulation area for the southern entrance. So you need to get a good view of the trains arriving and leaving Blackfriars mainline. This is so to St. Albans. So. That's where I want the northern line to be extended to, towards from Mill Hill East and all the way up to Welling Garden City of all places. Which seems like a really crazy plan and concept, but it could work out in execution. So this is a service for Brighton and then there is the next train for Raynham. Look how close these are. Oh. Look how close these are. He's, they're only protected by uh, these signals. These are 700 stroke ones, meaning this is a 12 coach variant. The one to Raynham will be an 8 car one. And we're currently waiting for a Sutton via Mitcham service uh, because that one takes the more direct route to Sutton rather than that rather than the spawn himself Wimbledon. And 
Blackfriars didn't always used to look like this when, in fact, as part of the Thameslink program, the station was significantly modernized, uh, um, including the tube station below. And it's now one of the one of the one of London's favorite stations. Due to the station spanning the Thames. Meaning it's declassified. So um, on these eight car Thameslink trains, the first class in the front and the back are declassified. And I just think that's a really good idea, in my opinion, because um, it, it'll help encourage um, people to actually save money and not buy any more first class tickets. And down there is Black Forest Pier, and um, right in front is the really infamous wibbly wobbly millennium bridge and it's being it is it's being shut down for a few weeks um, because the bridge is too wobbly and in fact it was closed on its opening day temporarily for two years and anyway we've got the attempts in social rain i'm leaving Raynham says so leaving and I do a 180. The next train arriving is a three bridges service, which is which is being formed of 12 coaches, meaning it's a 700 stroke one. is declassified. So on these 700 stroke ones, the first class at the front of the train is or is officially first class, but at the back of the train it is declassified, um, meaning you can use a standard ticket to ride in a first class, which again is a really wonderful idea. And here you, go, you can just stand here for hours just gazing at the city of London. On the left here, Cannon Street Station, Tower Bridge in the distance, and the Tate Modern and the Shard on the right. It's a beautiful view, definitely one of the best, if not the best. Ooh, but the three bridges and so much trains are leaving simultaneously. Next train is a Sutton by Wimbledon service. We're not taking this because it takes a more, it takes a more longer route, as I like to call it, the spawn of Satan himself. Um, it's just a nickname for like, like um, battle mediocre. And that way you get a less interesting view, but it is still a nice view though. It, that way is towards Westminster and Waterloo. And also Charing Cross, which is the official centre point of London. So here is the southbound line diagram. So from Blackfriars, this is more confusing. So we got London Bridge, with the longer branch towards Raynham, by the Medway towns of Rochester and Chatham, 
where Dovetail Games are based. You also have um, Orpington, Seven Arcs here, and you also got the lesser used um, one to East Grinstead because that's a Southern service, not a Thames League one. And you also have a Route by Elephant and Castle, it's by Peckham, but and but and that that is the one that takes you to Seven Arcs, sir. You also got the famous Brighton service and also the Horsham branch here and the Southern Loop by either Wimbledon or Mitcham Junction and so this map is a more is more cumbersome but you can totally get over it Some trains leaving and arriving into Cannon Street over there. With the Thames and Service for Horsham leaving. Train from Seven Arts terminating here. Thank you. 
So this is the way from the Thameslink into the underground Then yeah? And you need to tap out at the gate line behind me, go down this escalator, and then enter another gate line. But it is in the same station. So this is the Thameslink circulation area, right here, and then here is the tube station, and the district and circle lines call here. And down there is the entrance into Black Forest. So, um, the westbound platform is for services towards Ealing and Richmond, and also the Circle Line via Paddington. And this platform here, the eastbound one, um, is for Circle Lines via Kings Cross and Pancras, and District Line services to Upminster, the eastern line station on the District Line. And this is one of the very few subsurface stations to have escalators. And also because the station is incredibly modern, thanks to the Tenzin program, which brought the arrival of the brand new 700 trains. And also for a really good addition, the Waterloo and City line of all lines actually passes right underneath Blackfriars. And it would be super handy to have a connection here, but unfortunately there isn't, uh, for a multitude of reasons, but, um, which I'll explain. A district line train to Richmond.
So with regards to the Waterloo and City line, um, which passes almost directly underneath Blackfriars, um, it cannot call here for a multitude of reasons. It is curved here um, and it will create too much noise. So. Circle and service via Liverpool Street and King's Cross. Oh, we've got one of the rare Wimbledon services. You know, they only come here every 20 minutes on the weekend. Uh, because um, on weekdays you can do ha you, can, you do have direct services between Upminster and Wimbledon, but the actual Wimbledon services um, only operate from Edgware Road or Tower Hill. Um, not to mention the fact that some of them um, don't even go towards Barking and Upminster. District line service to Wimbledon. And the Wimbledon run should be converted into the Kensington line, like I said in my Kensington Stations video.
Blue Circle Line service via Victoria. Another one via Liverpool Street in the other direction. Train for Upminster. So Labyrinth here is almost 100 but 99 um, and out of 270 or well, really it should be 272 now uh, but in my opinion adding the Labyrinth at 9 ohms and Battersea power station and making them 1110A and 1110B was such a terrible choice uh, but it would have been more useful if it was 271 and 272 We've got the sign here in Johnston Font for Blackfriars Pier, which is that way. And I'll cross the road to get a good view of the station building. <laughs> there's an apartment block up there. And we'll cross the road here. So here's the station building of Blackfriars, really grand and gleaming as well. Yeah, and this serves both the Underground and National Rail. As you can see, that is the bridge for the Thameslink line. Uh, that is known as the Thameslink Core. Um, and it's, it starts um, from Kentish Town and heads all the way down towards um, Elephant and Castle and London Bridge. Um, and there, um, is where Blackfriars Station is and I think that is the only station that spans the entire length of the River Thames um, but that wasn't the original bridge um, um, from 1864 until 1985 there was a there was the first bridge but that wasn't strong enough for for any modern train uh, so um, it was discontinued uh, and a new bridge had to be built uh, um, but one set of pillars from the old bridge were reused for the modern bridge. So a bit of the old bridge technically is still in use today. Yeah, but Blackfriars is, is without a doubt one of my favourite stations in London. And there is a class 700 going um, on the bridge that goes above the road. We're currently standing on Victoria Embankment. 
is just named after Victoria and Embankment, which the district line goes underneath, on the section between here and Victoria.